Hey folks, welcome back. Hey Mabel, how you doing? No, down, down. Izzy. They just got out of the kennel. Well fine, you can go first. They just got out of the kennel, so they're pretty wound for sound this morning. Anyways, so what we got going on this time, uh, we're gonna do some bailing today. We swathed up some rake and raked some road ditches and some a little bit of hay land. We got a ton more to do. Uh, with the chance of rain, we figured it was probably best if we didn't do everything at once. Cause we didn't know, we figured we wouldn't have enough time to get everything bailed before the rain came in because there's a chance of rain tonight. But now they lowered it, of course, but there's a good chance tomorrow night and then all next week. So we're just gonna do what we got done now. First off on this bailer, I wanna say thank you to everybody that uh, was helping me try to figure out what was wrong with it and give me ideas, uh, better ideas on how to bail. I really appreciate it. And hey, be quiet. And I really appreciate all the help you guys. It really does help me a lot. We're gonna go out today and we're gonna give it a shot. However, I wanna show you what I did figure out on this thing. Um, so one of the issues I was having was the twine kept coming off and went too far to the bale to the outside of the bale and a lot of you guys told me make sure you just pack the sides not the center don't worry about the center so i'm going to do that today for one because i do agree um i went back and looked at those bales and they're a little bit barreled so i'm going to pack the edges better but this rod down here i bent back straight so it was clear out here on an angle and I think that string was flying clear up here. So I bent this back to straighten this out a little bit better. Kind of hard to tell. So I'm hoping that helps. And then the same way on the other side. The other side was pretty bent up too so I straightened it out a little bit. And it was actually bent too far back so I had to straighten it out again. Um, so I'll probably have to tweak with those a little bit more. The second issue that I was having was this lever up here. I was telling you when I you pull it back and then when it springs back, and it's hard to see. It wasn't snapping like that. Well, what I figured out, I don't, bear with me on this. It's right up here. Is So this is the lever that I was talking about. It's got your pulley on it for your belt on your tie rod. Where it pivots up here, I pulled that off and there's a there's a spacer in there so the bolt there's a spacer that goes through the bracket basically and then you tighten the bolt all the way up and that still leaves the space hey enough the spacer is a little bit wider than the bracket itself so you can tighten it all the way up but it can still spin well that was seized up tight so i pulled it off and we, we hammered it out, we cleaned it all up, we got the spin really easy, we put a new greaser in it. And now I have no problem with this. It is doing exactly what it's supposed to do. Anyways, got the old trusty 6410 on here. It's been a great tractor so far. Really good tractor. So, on that note, let's get to it. In the meantime, uh, I just went out and checked the hay a little bit, uh, what we did rake. And it's just a little damp yet from this morning. We had a lot to do. So we're not gonna worry about it. We're gonna wait till probably after lunch to go. So in the meantime, 
spa day. We finally finished up spraying uh, yesterday. So all of our spraying's done. So we just brought this in here. We have not cleaned it up yet and we have not rinsed it out fully yet because we might have to respray. I don't know. So we're gonna wait on that. And the other day we did take off the front duels on this tractor. I don't take them off on my tractor because I don't worry about it, but dad likes to take his fronts off. He thinks he runs over less corn, which I think you run over a little. But if you know it, I mean, if you're used to them, then it's fine, in my opinion. So this tractor is hideous with just the spacers on. But spot it. Okay guys, so we just got here. Here's what we're looking at. So this is uh, one of like three miles of ditches right here on this section. We got a mile down, a mile over, then a mile back on the opposite side of the road. When I came over here and swat this the other day, uh, it was basically two widths wide, and then I came over and raked them together. So it's pretty good hay. It's definitely got some thicker spots versus some thinner spots, but it's all good grass hay. Uh, basically no weeds. I mean, it was a really good ditch to do, so I'm glad I was able to do it. And then just going slow, get that bale started off right, and uh, lots of curving. So let's try it. I slid that sensor up a little bit, put my oversized lights on, and it's not even at the three foot mark yet, so. My assumption is I must have a bad wire or a bad sensor, but the sensor was clicking, so I don't know if that was it. Something's, quite, not, yeah, something's not quite right there yet. Try not to go too fast. Uh, right now I'm going about three and a half mile an hour. It's pretty thick and I really want it to uh, get packed in good. I'd rather have a nice tight bale than a, a loose bale. There it is. Tie arms are moving. 
run outside and check it out. a little farther but it's a nice tight bail I would say that's a pretty good bail what do you guys think pretty solid didn't quite make it to the half mile line so grass is doing pretty good let's keep moving Uh, with the highway right beside us getting closed for work a lot of people travel on this road so I thought maybe I'd be okay getting away from a lot of the dust but that's not how it worked a lot of dust Tim Bales, we're working on number 11. 
just on this three mile part. Uh, it'd be really cool to get 12, but hey, I'm, I'm not gonna complain with 11 nice bales. So we're packing them really good. We're gonna come pick them up today yet. At least that's the plan. Um, so I'm gonna get a weigh on them too. I'm gonna load them all up, get about 14 bells on there, and then go weigh them and see what the average is. I don't know what the average newer baler can do. I know they could probably do a lot tighter bale, assuming so, I don't know. But I'm gonna guess these are around 1400 maybe. I don't know, maybe that's a little high for Prairie. I don't know, about 1400. All we gotta do is go to right there. So we're almost there. We're just about pushing a three foot bale, so this is gonna end up being 11 and a half bales. But I'll probably, it's gonna be a while, it's gonna be at least a week before we bale, so I'll probably just go ahead and wrap it and just have a small bale, because I don't wanna leave it in the bale here that long. I got. Well, I'm gonna call that good. We got all the hay up. Uh, we end up having 17 bales total between the ditches that we all did, which is I would say that's pretty phenomenal uh, and it's real good green stuff nice and dry but it's not stemmy or anything or it's not too mature so it should be a lot of good uh, nutrients and protein in it so I'm kind of excited about that can't wait to start feeding it so on that note thanks for watching this video guys be sure to check out the other ones if you haven't already uh, if you subscribed I really appreciate it and if not, consider doing so. We uh, got two videos a week. Try to do them every Monday and two, or Monday and Thursday. Sometimes just stuff gets mixed up in the week or there's nothing to film and it just gets pushed around. So subscribe so you don't miss anything and we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, so I almost forgot. Uh, we weighed the bales and we weighed 14 bales. We had 14 big bales on the trailer. So we took an empty weight of the trailer before we started. And then we weighed after the 14 bales. And the average for those bales were 1,725 pounds. So that's a lot more. That's almost three to 400 pounds more than what I originally expected. Um, so that's phenomenal. And it turned out to be really good hay. I, I knew it was pretty dense. Now these are five by basically five foot bales, round bales. Uh, the baler is a five by six, but we did not go to six foot, just so just a hair over five foot. But 1,725 pounds is what these bales ended up being.